So the healing program initially started off, um, it was going to be a grief and loss program because there had been so many deaths in the community. But the more I went there and spoke with the community and the ladies, the more I started to realise there was a whole lot of stuff going on down there. And um, when I was explaining it to the ladies, we were all sitting around talking and um, one of the ladies said, why are we just doing it around grief and loss? Why aren't we doing it around domestic violence and addiction? And, and I just said, yeah, that's a good question. Like, why aren't we doing that? So initially we started off with the um, Aboriginal Family Wellbeing Training. So they came for two days and they talked about grief and loss and they did stuff around self-care and looking after yourself. And they were doing things like meditation and just to sit back and one of the ladies, after she came out of the meditation, she said, I think that's the first time I've ever just taken five for myself. And the other thing we had was an art therapist. So she, she taught the ladies different ways of using art. Art therapy has uh, like a creative process as the focus rather than discussion. Um, there's discussion involved, but foremost it's you know having something where they can do something creatively to process naturally art is something that you're all in a group and you're all doing the same thing but everyone produces something really different which is something that's been exciting um, but it's it's getting them to look at things that are really can be really challenging I had a lot of family going through the same thing so I thought I'll do a painting for our healing program we're doing so I thought it'd be good it's like the dark one is they're living in this dark place and don't live in there, come out and live in the brighter world. So they hold that in there and then they stress, stress too much and yeah, they've got to let people know what's happening. So yeah, so that's all about that dark part there. Don't keep living in a dark world, come out and live in the brighter world. There's people out there, they can help when you've got a problem. Let other people know so they can help you, yeah, instead of living in the dark world. Just doing that circle of your life and, and thinking about um, how your life spans out. You know, the happy times, the sad times, the angry times. Just in a week I know I'm feeling much better. Um, I think something interesting with, like it wasn't necessarily intentional, um, but as the weeks unfolded with the Malawa Healing Program, there kind of there was this metaphor and this theme that kind of emerged. Um, in the first session, we used the idea of like if you cut um, cut a tree, and then you look at the wood and it has those rings, the growth rings in the wood, and that's something we looked at the very first week in terms of um, like in the in the centre, it was like you know the beginning where you're born, and then every ring and going outwards to the bark. The bark was like where you are now. This is, you know, the very outer ring was, you know, the current place. And it was kind of just a way to look over the past. Um, but it's kind of come up recurrently in all the activities. We've kind of used it as this, I guess, a, a metaphor to whether we're exploring past things or um, looking, you know, more internally at their thoughts and their feelings or looking at what's happening outside around them. I've seen some really a massive change as I feel like. Um, there were some ladies that I knew they were there and they were listening but not really talking much. They didn't talk a lot but now one of them in particular, she talks about lots of stuff that's going on in her personal life and some of the strategies she's using at her own home. She said um, during one of the sessions, she said, you know, I always just thought it was me going through this stuff. I've never really realised that everybody in this room and, you know, in this community is going through the same things and instead of putting each other down, we need to support one another. So that was a big moment for all of the women, like I think too, you know, it was, it was pretty powerful. Um, like the ladies are coming together and doing things, all working together, coming in from out of the, of the community. We wanted to, to come in all the time, you know, now they're coming together and working together as one, you know. Yeah, it's good. And as we do it, we have a little yarn talk, talk about our problems to each other. And we all sort of seem to be going through the same thing, you know, or been through it already. And share with the other ladies because you're not on your own. When in a group setting we all had things to share. I know a lot of these women, they're very community minded, they're very, you know, they care about their grandkids, their children, and they want the best life they can for the people around them. And I hope that through the artwork that they're making that they can see that they have a voice and that their perspective is important and 
yeah, that's something that, that I hope that comes out of this, not just for their own personal healing and growth, but that they can feel empowered um, and take their stories of hardship and use them for something positive.